Hello, welcome back everybody to Box Standard Gamers. How are we today? So my name's Sam and I'm playing WWE 2K18. And big wrestling fan. Don't know if you guys know that already. But I'd been waiting for this game for a long time. Sorry EGX uh, this year played a singles uh, player match against um, one of the other guys in, in um, BSG and really enjoyed it. I haven't really played a WWE game for a long time. I did buy a 17, but if I'm honest, I played it for 10 minutes and then put it back down again. So uh, this is going to be a playthrough of my career. So if you're unfamiliar with my career in WWE 2K games these days, uh, the option for my career takes you away from the known wrestlers that you do know. It's the Undertaker's Canes, The Rocks, Stone Cold. <laughs> it's, a, it's an old list of wrestling names. There's a lot of newer wrestlers now. But this option allows you to create your own superstar. It allows you to start from the bottom of the performance center and then go into NXT and then onto the main roster, so Raw or SmackDown, and then start headlining some pay-per-views as well. Within that, you can win titles. And um, another nice addition to the my career mode now is that you have to earn virtual credits so VC and essentially what you do from that depending on your star rating of your match you can have a one to five star rating match um, the longer the match goes out the more stars you're, you're bound to get and the more moves you pull off different types of spots so maybe if you're jumping off the top rope to the outside that might get the crowd involved um, with these virtual credits once you've earned them from the matches you get loot crates so it's quite a, a different um, part of the gaming uh, convention that the WWE are going down. A lot of games are doing loot cases at the moment, and WWE have done it themselves. And with those loot cases, you unlock um, apparel wear, so different trunks, different boots, different haircuts. Alternatively, you can get in their move sets as well, which I do like because what they've done in this one is you haven't got the full arsenal, the full catalogue of... Um, appearance um so it'd be your trousers or gloves or whatever um you don't get that, the full catalog straight away so you actually start with basic stuff which is which i like is pretty good just starting from the bottom and as you earn more virtual credits you're able to then buy these additional things to make your character look more of a professional wrestler and obviously the move sets as well um that will obviously uh, make your character f far better in the ring, but your finishers or your every go-to moves, and um, yeah, that, that's that's basically it. As you can see on there as well, we've got Road to Glory, which is a separate thing. We'll go go across, and um, that's to do with more online play with your character as well. And uh, that's uh, as I said, a completely different story. We want to go down later on, but we'll start off in my career. I've made a few adjustments to my character Rex on the left. Um, he's a showboat character, so you can decide what um, what type of wrestler your, your guy is. Showboat, um, a sort of slight arrogance, and um, I'm hoping to put my mic skills to um, to it as well to make him that showboaty kind of character, a cocky type of guy. And then, um, as I said, I've added a beard to him as well, but as I said, that's the most basic model we're going to get um, for the time being but once we get into NXT we might be able to upgrade his look a little bit make him more personalized so what we do we'll just jump into the game and uh, we'll start on day one on the performance center do you want to turn my career invasion on my career invasion to is functionality that enables your friends my players to sharpen your career oh that's really good so I've read about this essentially if you've got any friends that have WWE 2k18 and have created a character in my career their player may show up backstage um, you might be able to get a tag team going with them that person doesn't have to be online but the characters is part of the story as well which is a very very nice touch it makes you more inclined to play the game as well and maybe even suggest it to friends as well like I might suggest it to a couple of guys in our group just so we've got the uh, appearance of their characters in the game Just while we're waiting for a load, just to thank everyone for their support recently. We've had a, a, a few uh, subscribers. Um, we haven't got a lot, but any uh, any more help that we're getting is much appreciated. Oh my god, it's The Rock. 
Pull my rock bottom! Oh. So we've got a big superstar in the ring at the Performance Center. This is quite good. We're quite shocked, to be fair, to see him so early on. Maybe someone will come across later on as well. Maybe we can talk to him. There's um, I've I've heard that there's a lot more free roam in this as well. So hopefully, hopefully in this video, we'll get to see some of that. I haven't played it at all. I've, if I'm honest, I bought a few characters in the exhibition matches. So one of the other additional things in the game is that you can. Um, start with the main roster at the moment but if you want any further wrestlers from um, the past you can actually buy them with your virtual credits as well and you can also uh, download created wrestlers that people have made online and you can use them um, in your exhibition message as well which is really really nice touch all right so let's start it's nice oh it's pretty good you can run about there's the rock get in the ring maybe Oh, nice, just run against the ropes. Test the looseness of the ropes. I don't know if anyone's actually been in a wrestling ring before, but I've done, I think it was two days worth of training when I was 16. And surprisingly, the ropes really hurt when you jump into them. Uh, which, <laughs> one of the other things uh, that wrestlers go through that you don't actually realise. But yeah, it left a few marks on my back when I did it. Cool, so that's good. So as you can see, the, the game's never really explored this open world type of free roam thing. It is something that Smackdown 2, I think, did. Where you could go backstage and wrestle backstage brawls and stuff like that. But let's get speaking to this gentleman over here first. Hido Atami. Sup, man. Good to know you. Right on, brother. You too. Hido so Atami, if you don't know, he's... Uh, part of NXT which is if you don't know is um, WWE's like development wrestling show a lot of younger wrestlers some from TNA are going over there as well just to start off get the get the character base down and then they can jump to the main roster oh this guy's got a solid beard a solid beard no way Jose let me ask you you nervous for excited as hell something really mostly just proud to be here Look quite greased up. Greased up for a greasing. Should we go and speak to the rock? Let's go and speak to the rock. See if he gives me some smack. Let's catch up later. No, it's not the top. Oh. Fine. Maybe you'll regret palming me off next time we speak, rock. I'm sitting on your face. So just stare him out, see if anything happens. If I've read rightly, I believe that the rock's got his Brummer ball actually tattooed over now. It's a shame, really. It's a shame that the characters don't actually speak as well. That'd be quite good if they did that. But I appreciate there's a lot of wrestlers. Welcome to the start of the rest of your life. It sounds dramatic when you phrase it that way. It's all nicey nice at the moment. I'm expecting, um, I'm hoping it gets a bit nasty and dirty. Like a Friday night down a pub. Right, like this gentleman over here. See, the WWE's milking the tap out sponsors that they've got going on. Enjoy yourself here. Hey, thanks. I have a good feeling. I only see my guy's eyebrows out. It looks like they've been plucked. Definitely that type of wrestler. Okay, so we're just getting a feel of the game. Just get talking to a few people. This is Bobby Roode, the glorious one. Look at that, look at that jawline. Jesus. Hey, hey. Nice swagger, newbie. Oh, you know when I'm swaggering. What does that even mean? When he's had a few drinks, maybe. Right, so I think we've spoken to everyone possibly. We now need to, as you see top left, I need to speak to Matt Bloom. The A-Train, Lord Tensai, Hip Hop Hippo Albert. Don't know if you guys remember him from the 90s. Prince Albert, 
Lord of Pearson and the Harry back. Finally, the hottest free agent in all sports entertainment. Oh, nice. Right here in front of me. Great to have you here. I'm Matt Bloom, or call me Matt. Thank you, Matt. Amazing to be here. Glad you decided to sign with the WWE. A lot of room for a guy like you on the roster. You've seen that. Seen what AJ and Shizuki have done the opportunity, I'm sure. Right, so this is where you start choosing your answers to fit to your character. So we're quite a cocky, arrogant, showboaty type of guy, and I don't really want to go away from that. Um, when you're creating your character, you do get the option if he's a fan favourite or not, and I've chose the to start off with for the fans to boo me. So really, I need to be the brass, cocky type of guy that doesn't really care on what he says. So I'm going to follow that as well. Maybe maybe go down the middle sometimes, but we'll, we'll try and stick to our showboaty type of character as much as possible. So yeah, they're a true inspiration. Yeah, I'll do what they did, but better. Yeah, maybe in the middle one, that's more of our type of character. I think that's fair enough. They catapulted over a few steps, so I'm not sure that would be possible. But you might get a shot at something similar, who knows. What I mean to say is, I think you can do the same. Up to you, obviously. But your ass every day. Oh, sorry, <laughs> bust your ass every day. Do what I tell you, and you've got the opportunity. Ain't no better place than this, believe me. Back when I started wrestling, I was, here we go. Come on, Albert. Want to wrestle, mate? If you weren't part of wrestling school, you couldn't even get the opportunity to come to WWE. Here we got the people from all over the world, different backgrounds from different aspects of sports, like some crossover transitioning. Happy to be part of this new legacy. Overy, what I want from you is I want to see you good character. I want to see you working harder to get better all the time. And it's been a while since your last match. True enough. Gonna always keep your focus on the mission at hand. So now, introductions behind us. Gotta get rid of that ring rust and evaluate you. Yes. Give me some, some in-ring action, Albert. We'll see where you're at. I'm putting you in there against one of the seasoned vets. No honeymoon, ha. Huh? You want one? <laughs> what? Oh, Jesus. In the uh, in the Great Britain, England. You want one? Could even mean a fight with him or his penis. I'm hoping it's the latter. <laughs> Let's pretend it's penis. It would be nice. No, <laughs> like that would be nice. <laughs> Tough. Oh, oh, Albert, give me some D. Hop on up. Time to get down to action. Okay. Right, so. Looks like we're just about to jump in the ring, guys. So let's see what we can do. As I said, hardly played the last game. And before that was probably <laughs> Here Comes the Pain or something like that. So bear with me. But I'm hoping they give you some sort of tutorial to follow to ensure that you're not ass kicked straight away. I'll be honest, the loading time is quite slow. So I do feel like I'm talk talking shit to fill it. Oh, the arrogance leaning against the right against Ty Dillinger. Oh, look at that crossbody. Albert watching me as well. Just confident in my uh, my abilities. Hopefully, oh, another one. Oh, the elbows! Oh, the elbows! God, oh, savage. As I said, I've not touched any. <laughs> I've not amended any of his moves, but I will look into doing that once we've got into maybe the NXT. Ooh. Oh, I need to get on this reversing. Oh, what? It's very close, this one. I don't want to tap out straight away. I don't want you guys to think I'm absolutely piss poor. Oh, that's it. Big elbow. Get him into the, get him to the turnbuckle. Big splash, maybe. Oh, the shop. Oh, my goodness. Look at him go. Oh, runaway train. Get up top. Oh, the scent on. Let's go for the pin. Go for the pin. The guy's very white as well. It's not a shameless white. Not to change that. Oh, that's beautiful. Give me the pin. 
we have we need to work him over a little bit. So first of all, it feels really nice. Oh, oh his ribs. His ribs are gone, surely. Oh, he's following him up on a different move. Oh, my God. What a great match. God, taunting to the one fan that he has, Albert. What we've got here? Big suplex. A classic move. Absolute classic. Oh, elbow right to the temple. Oh, big s swinging, clubbing blows. Right, we've got a signature. So we have a signature, for those who don't know wrestling games, we have a signature, which is your build up to your finish. Oh, the fame arser. Sensational. Right, let's, let's finish them off. I'm hoping we've got enough in the bag here to... This is the perfect plex. Homage to Mr. Perfect. Oh, there it is. Let's follow up with a pin. Hopefully we get the free count. And press Albert. One, two, three. Oh, what a victory. It's only a tutorial match, only a training match, but still. We're going to win everything that we've got in front of us. I still need to sort of evaluate what type of move that I want. I do like the uh, the fisherman suplex as a, as a finisher. But I spend so much time, I don't know about you guys, but I spend so much time in creating a, any character in any game. I just love it. And I'm hoping that we've unlocked enough to, to actually do something decent. Even like with the entrances. Absolutely love it. Well, I was going to speak to Matt Bloom. Oh, he's having a midlife crisis. Look at the state of the trainers. Come on, Matt Bloom. They're blooming all four trainers. Classic pun. Alright, is he going to be impressed? Very good stuff. Haven't lost your edge at all. I've made sure to keep active outside the ring. It shows. Now listen. Oh dear. I know where you come from. They don't cut that many promos. I guess our character have got some sort of background in wrestling. Barely at all. Honestly, hardly worth mentioning. No, it's the best time to practice. I want to see what you got on that end. Go over to the promo area and cut a promo. Oh my goodness. Forget your expectations. Show me you. <laughs> Albert, you cheeky devil. I'll show you you in the locker room. Drop the soap, Albert. Drop it. And I'll show you me. Sorry. Okay, with the promos, I think we've the type of character that you choose will be determined by the promos as well. So it won't be just for your in-ring action, it'll be your decisions on the mic. So if you're a fan favourite, you've got to stick to your answers as a fan favourite. If you're a heel, you have to make sure that your responses are uh, arrogant or against what the fans would expect from you. But we'll see how we go. Here he comes. <laughs> Is he even pointing that? There's no one there. Cool. Spectacle of a man. A solid beard as well. Pleased with that. Got to love a beard on a man. All right, here we go, people. So, promo choice. This is what we've got. Promo performance on top left, and then I think the bar goes up when, depending on the answer you choose. So the more consistent you are with your answers, the more your bar will go up. Vernon V, um, they see it as you do it as well. This is takeover. They said I couldn't cut it in WWE. All your hypothetical dream matches start now. WWE is the world's best comp competition is. There's a takeover. Might drop right now. This is a takeover. The WWE is prime for the plundering. And I'm going to take control of it all. I'm not satisfied of being given scraps and, I tol and told, look at the feast I gave you. That's gaslighting. That offends me and disgusts me. So instead I'm going to take full control. <laughs> oh shit, we've got a timer as well. 
Ah. My common. Okay, that'll do. I see our bar's gone up top left. That's good. I'll break it down for you so you'll know what's coming. The onslaught I'll bring with me will change the shape of everything. I'll remake the face of wrestling forever. All the legends of the past step aside. Soon the very nature of the WWE will evolve into something undreamt of before. Alright, we're doing alright. Not strong or fast. Life challenger preparing for this. Your favourite superstar against me. Going to exert control and do whatever I want. That's showboatish. Ah, oh, so we're half, almost halfway. I'm making this place my home. When I take it over, I'm going to exert all my control and do whatever I want. Domination, let's call it that. What it is. Total, absolute destruction, domination. I feel like a force has been slouching towards the WWE for years. And I'm happy to assume the mantle. Didn't catch the last bit there. His face. <laughs> The old order will topple. Oh, three quarters. Very soon the old order will buckle and topple on down. I'm replacing it with me, the order of myself. On that shining day, I will gaze on the ruins of what was the plan of the foundations of what will be. I'm going to lay the old order into the brickwork of the foundation. It's the least I can do. Alright, we need to get this last one right, I think. Last word. The whole WWE units will remember. Oh no, it's just three quarters, it's fine. Once it's all said and done, the whole of the WWE Universe will remember me. The aftermath of my arrival will remain long after I disappear into history. But that's in a far distant future. Right now, I'm focusing on only the here and now. I hope you're ready, my legacy is about to begin. So our guy is very confident. He's going to change the face of WWE. Maybe that's what it needs to be done. It has declined over the years since the competition has died. So maybe this will be the the, the turning circle for the uh, for the WWE. But we've got three quarters on our promo bar, which is good for the first time. As I said, it would all depends on what type of attitude you're putting across on a consistent basis. Cool. So we're back with Matt. Let's see if we can get a bit of a insight to what he thought about that. Such a big chest for a man. Well, that was impressive and as natural as I've ever seen. Real honesty to your promo. And if you keep oning, honing that edge, the WWE Universe is going to dig it. Dusty would be proud. Homage to Dusty Rhodes. Rest in peace. The WWE Universe is going to dig it. Dusty would be proud. I still find promos awkward. Mm, to be fair, we've done alright in that one. It's great speaking right to the fans. This makes me larger than life. I feel larger than life. Now I'm imagining myself on every television or up on the Titantron. Yes, very, very confident in himself. Stage presence is one of the nebulous things you can't teach. Or well, not well, at least. Are well, you saying I have that? Are you Albert? Are oh, you Albert? Definitely. Like you have an ease the way you present yourself. There are some rough edges, sure, but that's nothing polish won't take care of. Go on, polish me, Albert. Perfect, I'm ready for whatever is next. Take it easy for the rest of the day. Unwind is an important thing. Important as getting wound up. Get to know people around here. We'll pick this up again tomorrow. Oh, that's a good start. That's a good start. Seems that he's uh, confident in what we're doing at the moment. In ring and mic skills. That is two pivotal parts of being a wrestler in the WWE. Also, having a ridiculous set of muscles helps as well. Vinny Mac likes a meaty man. And I'm not saying he's a homosexual. I just. Well, it's. He likes a big wrestler. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll stop it on day one. We're just about to hit day two. So thank you very much for your time. I hope you enjoyed it. It's something slightly different. Something that I enjoy doing. And I hope you watch me enjoy it, if that makes sense. Um, as I said, 
Thank you very much for your support so far. If you could like, subscribe, and share the videos if you're able to, or even just mention it to a friend, that will help us a lot. Um, you know, we, we enjoy doing this, and hearing some feedback from you guys is as pivotal as someone subscribing to us. If there's something you want us to change, let us know, and we'll see what we can do. All right, so thank you very much for now, and we'll speak to you soon.